A few weeks ago, Apple announced two new iPhones. A more well-received and criticized iPhone 10 and iPhone 8 and its largest sibling iPhone 8 Plus. If you check it properly, the iPhone 8 is the next generation to the last year's model, practically, and it looks similar. It got some improvements under the hood. I'm Muzunir Ahmad and let's compare the improvements in the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus with iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. So there is significant change in the back metal plate replaced with glass, which now enables the iPhone 8 to charge wirelessly. It uses international cheap wireless charging technology, but it's also slow as compared to Samsung's fast charging or other devices' fast charging techniques for wireless charging not implemented today. Well, iPhone users now have this convenience and they can charge wirelessly. Not iPhone 8 but also some other devices like Apple Watch and new AirPods. The second one is A11 Bionic chip. The major improvement over last year's A10 chip with 6 cores power tuned with Apple's superior software optimization and is now ready to compete with the Snapdragon 835 and benchmarks are amazing also. Now Android manufacturers should have tough time in draw power battle against iPhone. To a camera department, the camera department has done a very good job. Low light images are now better with 12 megapixel sensors and OIS is added in both standard and telephoto camera on the iPhone 8 Plus. And difference is not major, but still it's much better. And the portrait shots will become more fun now, because you can now change the lighting manually even after taking the shot. The new AR features are a nice welcome. The ability to blend the real world with the virtual world is a really nice concept. Now, Apple developers have started developing apps for the AR kit as some of them third-party developers are also developing games some months before. The rest of the phone design is same, big bezels, a camera hump, a touch ID home button. We are not going to hope to see anything on iPhone 10. But really, the consistent build and symmetrical bezel design, in my opinion, is still prettier. And if you are looking for a new iPhone and don't want to sacrifice the classical look and feel of an iPhone, look no further than this one, and it's also some cheaper. That's all for today folks, and if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumb like, and do not forget to subscribe so you never miss any new tech in-depth video landing once a week. Once again, thanks for watching, and stay connected my friend.